Remaru Tempest, an anomaly in the world of Slime, the founder and king of the Tempest Federation, a demon lord of Octograph, the transcendent Slime with the ultimate skill of Void God Azathoth, known far and wide as the Chaos Creator. <laughs> Tempest Federation, a nation founded by Remuru Tempest. It started as a small goblin village and evolved into the most powerful nation in Tensura. as good a moment as any, as well as a small test. I made an attack towards Velgrind. A single strike from that sword had pierced the heavens and split the seas. Literally, the deadly shockwave bore no resemblance to the swing of a sword, and it severed Velgrind's wings in the middle of his evasion. form of motivation for mankind.
are the highest ranking beings in existence. They're nigh invulnerable and nigh unstoppable avatars of nature that serve as the pillars of all creation with only five known to exist. Storm Dragon, Veldora, Scorch Dragon, Velgrind, Frost Dragon, Velzard Star King, Veldanava, Rising Star, Remuru. They are considered the greatest creations of the creator. Everyone else still believes in me. It's only a matter of time before I get rid of the police. What do you think of that, Al? This is my perfect victory! That's right! I win! Feldway grieved and hated. Humans on Earth. No, not just humans. Not just humans, but elves, dwarves, beastmen, and even Majin. He hated all demi-humans, that is to say, all of humanity. So he wanted to destroy them. The people who took Veldanova from us don't deserve to live. He would unite the world Veldanova had created with his own hands. And then he would condemn those who have committed the greatest crimes. That was Feldway's conclusion. He would take the world favored by the god Veldanava and dye it into his own color. He would destroy its diversity in order to create a world of his own. Lord Veldanava, if you want to punish me, then punish me. That is what I want. Now hurry or there will be no more worlds. I didn't care if he thought I was a sore loser or a whiner, but I at least wanted to complain. Perhaps he wasn't laughing at me, but acknowledging me. Because Feldway had run away from a showdown. I was sure that Feldway, who had acquired my name as a pawn, would try to defeat me two on one, but surprisingly that didn't happen. Blast off to the end of time and space, chrono saltation. It was a familiar wiped Belgrin's son off the face of this world only a short time ago. With that in mind, my consciousness blocked out. I was transported by Feldway's space-time transfer to some unknown place, where the past, the future, and the present were all uncertain.